Hi friends, it's Dyra. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, look who is back. If you have never watched any of my videos with this beautiful woman right here, this is Mama Bear. This is my beautiful mother. She lives in another state, so whenever she comes to visit, I have to always make sure that I hook my mommy up because I can't have her looking crazy, even though all she does is wear a ponytail. <laughs> so... I get um, questions sometimes about uh, gray hair and how I'm able to do uh, gray hair without it turning green or yellow. So um, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how I'm always able to manage it, but I do have an idea of the, the things that contribute to it. So I have a few clients that have gray or white hair like my mother does. And I do the same thing for all of them. So my first uh, tip is making sure that the hair is strong. When the hair is strong, it'll do what it's supposed to. So I gave my mother a Olaplex treatment. I always give her some sort of treatment whenever I do her hair just to keep her hair in a great condition. Plus, I know she doesn't do all these things for herself, so I like to go in there and do it so I know that she's good. You see how she looks? She was like, you lucky this camera is on. <laughs> it's on me pulling my head back like that. <laughs> But this video sped up, so it looked a little rough, but it wasn't rough. I promise you. My mama will whoop my butt if I treat her any old kind of way. But anyway, so I did the Olaplex treatment. Um, I did use the whole system as far as um, the shampoo and stuff. But um, with her, I also use a uh, different kind of silver uh, hair shampoo. I use the Redken Silver Gradient. Um, I use the Matrix Blue. I use the Fanola uh, Purple Shampoo. I also use the Schwarzkopf uh, no, Yellow Out, I think it's called. And all these, I'm going to link them down below so that you guys know what I'm talking about. But I also use a, a purple mask in her hair. Um, the Fanola one is good and also like the Shimmer Lights is good. I don't really use the Shimmer Lights shampoo, but I love their mask and not the conditioner. It's a mask. I'm going to link that down below as well. And I do the deep conditioning with it. So basically, I let it overtone her hair. So you know the purple, the pigments in these uh, purple conditioners and stuff, they help... Uh, neutralize the hair so what i do is allow it to sit a little bit longer so when i shampoo i mean not shampoo when i rinse it out sometimes you can still see a little blue or purple tinge in it and i do that because i know that once the heat hits it it will remove some of it and kind of leave it in a neutral space as opposed to allowing it to turn a color uh you know a green or um a yellow color um i'm not sure if that's the reason but i feel like that works for me if i when i overtone it i literally see the hair returning to its silver or white shade when i apply the heat so i think that that helps a lot so the other thing that i do uh well the part of that too is making sure you condition the hair well uh, so that you're not dehydrating the hair when you're um applying heat to it making it um brittle and making it coarse so um which is you know like i said you want to keep the gray hair healthy at all times so um the other thing that i do is to make sure that i apply a heat protectant you always want to make sure you protect the hair and you want to make sure that it doesn't get um as much damage as it possibly can without the heat protectant. Now you saw how I just measured uh, my two fingers, right? I did that because that's how Mama Bear expects me to do it. My mom did go to uh, beauty school. She went to Welfare Beauty Academy. And she's very particular about some of the ways that she wants me to do her hair. So I don't play. What Mama says is what I do. So she always likes for me to cut a nice amount of hair off um, because, like I said, I don't do it often. So every time she's come, it'll grow, it's, you know, grown right back in. So as you can see, I'm just going through and I am trimming her hair. 
um, and making sure all her split ends are gone. And then I'm going to give her a nice curl. Did y'all see the look that she gave me when she seen me pick up that hot comb? <laughs> Mama was like, you better not burn me. You better not burn me. I be cracking up every time I record her because she always be making some crazy faces at me and we always be talking trash. If I let y'all hear some of the stuff we be talking about when, um, when I'm doing her hair, y'all will be cracking up. It's so funny. She cracks me up. We bump heads a lot because we are so much alike in so many ways it's funny because you know they always say that you start uh being like your parents and i see that on both sides on my mom and my dad's side uh the older that i get so she and i are like twins sometimes so you know when that happens you bump heads but i love my mother as mother day is coming uh, i feel so grateful and so appreciative to have my mother well not only because of mother's day just in general but you know around this time when mother's day is coming you know you put a lot of emphasis on uh, mother's day and you really think about um your mom you know and um i'm very grateful that i still have my mother and can make memories with her um, and for anyone who is watching this who does not have their mother anymore I pray that you have memories um, that will get you through um, because I'm sure that is uh, a painful thing to go through I don't know what made me just think about that but um, yeah basically what i'm trying to say, say is you appreciate and love on your parents while you still have them and if you're a parent uh, make those memories with your children so that they can have those memories with them uh, when you are no longer with them so anyway i did um use the love and health protect me serum for her hair before I blow dried it and then um, now I am using uh, my ba uh, baby list uh, curling iron this is the Prima uh, 3000 and I like this curling I I mean this flat iron to do some loose curls so that's what I'm doing I'm just gliding through gliding through it once um, and I'm doing some curls for her which always kills me because I do some nice pretty curls and she just loves having her hair in a ponytail so she'll rock it like this for a couple hours and then put it up in a ponytail but the most important thing is that she likes to when she does put it in a ponytail at night she'll wrap it and because well she'll wrap it into like a bun so because of the curls she's able to do that and it, this style is able to last longer for her so she always asks me for uh, these curls and i've gotten uh questions in the past of why she doesn't just get hair rollers and stuff like that but my mom is one of those people that doesn't like sitting under the dryer so 
um, the times that I have sat her under the dryer for deep conditioning treatments or um, any other kind of treatments, yeah, it's very short-lived. So she will not sit under the dryer. This is what she likes doing. She likes for me to blow dry it and curl it uh, so she can try to make the curls last uh, for a little bit. All right guys, so yeah, I just finished everything with the curls and then I apply some of my edge control and as well with the uh, products that I used in the beginning, I am also going to link my own products so that you can purchase them if you're interested. I did use the edge control on her. I love it. My edge control does not flake up, does not get greasy. And the next day the hair will still be um, lay down without being stiff is a nice flexible hold and then I used my uh, love and health shine spray that is going to keep her hair moisturized especially when she um, wraps it up into a bun at night and then I also apply some bed head after party and what that does is smooths away any flyaways that she may have all right guys so this is it this is how i hooked my mommy up um during her stay um so if you have any questions or any comments as always please make sure to leave them down below i always try to get back to everyone I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Um, follow me on Instagram, 7 Zen here. I'll leave that in the description. Um, I'll appreciate you guys checking me out there as well. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.